What's up everyone, Drew Pickens here. We have the City of Tweaker review. This one's on Anima where you can find this one inside the City of Store for 99 cents. And what this tweak allows you to do is it'll simply give you the option to animate your notifications, alerts, as well as the multitasking switcher on your iDevice with this little tweak. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now whenever you first download this tweak, you will actually have to go into the settings application and simply set it up to your liking. So go ahead and open up the actual settings, then scroll all the way down to the find anima, right there it is. Now inside of here, you can see we just have a whole bunch of stuff. We have the actual notification center banners, we have alerts, the multitasking switcher, as well as help. So let's go ahead and go into the actual notification center banners. Now inside of here, we got the actual slide animations, the fade in animations, zoom animations, dismiss animations, animation speed. This is very important because if you have it all the way down to the left, it won't actually work. So make sure you turn that up just a notch there. Then we have the actual show test banners, which is kind of cool. That way so you don't have to send yourself an email or a text message. Whatever you have to do to actually check your notification banners, this is really handy. Then we just have extras that don't really do too much. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at this actual tweak and test it out. All right, so we're in the actual slide animations and we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the default one. So we'll just go back and simply show test banners. So there you go, there's from the bottom and then from top, from right, so that's pretty cool. Then we got from left, then we actually have the standard default one that just comes down. So then we actually have the fade in. We can turn the fade off as well if you don't want the actual fade. So we'll just do that from top. Actually, let's do that one from right and check it out one more time. So there you go. I kind of like the fade in. just makes it more poppy, I guess you could say. Then we have the dismiss animations from fade out. So you see that right there from slide to right. So there's the slide to right. Then we have slide to left. Don't want to do that. So let's go back into settings here and simply test the banner. Okay. Then we got slide down. Slide down is pretty cool. Slide up. There's slide up. And again, you can actually change the animations once again there. So let's go back into Animer. And let's go into alerts. Now inside of here, we have it on default. So let's change this up a little bit. We'll do the bounce and do the fade in. And let's see, let's do zoom in and check out that one. So that's kind of cool as you see there. So let's try that out one more time. It's kind of nice if you want the actual default and let's try out the zoom out it's kind of cool as well turn off this fade in kind of crazy there let's do it one more time there you go that one is alerts and let's do the multitasking switcher tray now inside of here we actually have the slide animations and the fade animations so let's try out the slide animations first so here we have the default if we double press and yes this does work with oxo in case you are wondering so that's kind of cool. Zoom in, zoom out, double two. And let's try fade animations, fade in. I kind of like the fade in, it just looks very nice. And it looks great with Oxo as well. And that's basically it with Animer, guys. So definitely make sure you guys check this one out if you want to change up your iDevice just a little bit from the notification center banners as well as the multi testing switcher tray. So if you like this video, guys, go to make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop all of your comments down below. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until the next video, we'll see you guys in the next one.